and this is Jetstream, and welcome to the archive, my knowledge is your power. And today, we're going to be talking about Thunderhoof. Okay, just gonna say, this dude is pretty popular. Could be his accent, could be his design, but for sure he was popular because he just seems to just pop up all over the place. And no, it's not a bad thing in the slightest. He's a fun character to see and interact with, and the show seems to know this pretty well. Why else would they keep him coming back? Yeah. Hey, hi, how you doing? <laughs> You lying, no good bag of bolts. I assume you two know each other. That low life's the reason I wound up on that prison ship. His first appearance is in season one, episode six, as the Casibo commands. Ay, la chupa cabra. La chupa cabra. Ay, caramba. Okay. So anyway, the humans, for whatever reason, thinks he's some spiritual thing, and he takes advantage of this by having them build for him a space bridge, so that he's able to return back to Cybertron and get back to his way of life. Thunderhoof, bring them here. Go here, do that. I was a boss on Cybertron. This isn't Cybertron. Though I'm not sure he's exactly fought ahead, since some if not most of his goons are also trapped on Earth. Unless he's thinking of getting some new goons, which I think is pretty possible. But how does he know his land that he's so unfairly taken from others is still even there? Someone else could have claimed it off him or bought the land. I mean, he's locked away. It's likely that someone would see this opportunity and take it. But then again, I know next to nothing about Lauren's stuff, so who knows, right? Maybe he has legal documents. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, sure he does. Uh, we all know that's the kind of guy he is. And not the hot-headed, credit-scraping, uptight, snobby con who thinks he's a cut above the rest and will stomp on anyone that gets in his way or disagrees. Clearly, we know him not. He only does that to the cons he knows he can or won't fight back, like Clampdown. Mind you, Clampdown did rat him out of the past and one of his um, operations, so... Meh. And we don't want to stay on Earth forever, do we? Sideswipe. We don't make deals with criminals. You're coming with us. Hey, oh, where's the respect? Usually. I let underlings do the dirty work, but that don't mean I don't remember how to do it myself. Anyway, failing to have his ground bridge working right, which is weird because he stated earlier... I've been through my share of space bridges, but I ain't never seen one do that. I can't help but question if, if you've seen your fair share of space bridges and you somehow know how to build one, I mean, you have to be pretty intelligent to know how to build one in the first place, and on a primitive planet, no less, and yet he makes a black hole instead. Well, whatever, it turns into more or less a ground bridge at the very least, teleporting him to another place on Earth, where he bumps into Steeljaw, um, who just makes him part of his pack. Don't know who he is, or as far as I know. Nevertheless, takes a chance on him. Lucky lucky. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Thunderhoof transforms into a tractor. You'd think someone of his class would want to be strolling about as something a little more, well, classier, but, well, tractor! 
I guess it indicates that to us that he's not afraid to have his servos dirtied. Uh, am I right? Being a tractor and farming is hard work and, well, makes sense in my processor. I can't help but question his appearance a teeny little bit. Because though some say he's a moose, I can't help but think he looks more like a stag. But hey, I could be wrong. Let's start the war right now. <laughs> By the way, you will remember this guy and his sound catchphrase thing. Ayo! 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 Yeah, let us seep into your brains where his image will remain until the end of time. And all it will take is that little noise. <laughs> I could mention all the times a Thunderhoof shows up again, but then I might be here for a little while, and that could also mean that I have nothing better to do than to look up every episode. But I'm not that willing, so I got a tea set and a few dolls waiting for me to give them a tea party. That, guys, is a better use of my time. I said, Teddy, this is the job for the Bot Father. You come to me on the day of this tea party and ask for me to give you another cup? Well, yes. I see. Okay, cool. Well, who wants the cookie? For more content, and remember by controlling the web, I control the world. Intrusive mission.